Hey, it's Todd, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Oracle Cloud tenancy for Oracle Functions. We'll walk through all the steps it takes and get you up and running in no time. So stick around. Hey, welcome back. And in this video, like I said, I wanna show you how to set up your tenancy for Oracle Functions. There are a few steps involved and it may seem a little intimidating at first, but really it's not too difficult. We're gonna walk through it one step at a time and I'll show you a couple shortcuts that I use to get things up and running quickly and to keep yourself organized throughout the process. And I promise in less than five minutes, I'll explain the entire process to you. So let's dig in. All right, so to get started getting our tenancy set up for Oracle Functions, the first thing I like to do, and a really handy way to keep things organized, is to create a simple text file to collect some pieces of information that we're going to use throughout the process. It's really handy just to have a little text file on your desktop to make sure that you have everything handy when you need it at a different step. So I have done that, and we will use that text file throughout the process to collect these pieces of information. Step one is to create a user, a group, a compartment, and a VCN and some policies. Before you get started with this process, you want to make sure that the OCI CLI has been installed on your local machine. And the first thing we're gonna do really quickly is grab our tenancy OCID. Within the console, you simply click on the profile icon in the upper right hand side and choose your tenancy. Your tenancy name is shown at the top of the page and your tenancy OCID is shown towards the middle of the page. Before we create our user, let's quickly create a signing key. Next, let's create a user that we'll use for our functions as a service. Edit the user and add the newly created public key. After you've added the new public key, copy the fingerprint and paste that in your text file. Copy your user OCID and paste it into your text file. And enter your username into your text file. Now generate an auth token for the new user. Copy the generated token and paste it into your text file. Next, create a group for your functions as a service users. Add your new user to the group. Now add your group name to your text file. Next, create a compartment. and enter the new compartment's name into your text file. Back on your local machine, edit your OCI CLI config file and add a new profile for this new user. We'll paste in some of the values that we collected in our text file. Our functions as a service user is almost ready to go. The last step before it's ready is to create a policy and add some policy statements. Next, let's create a virtual cloud network. You'll likely use the public subnet within this new virtual cloud network to associate with your functions and your applications later on. The rest of the steps for getting your tenancy set up will happen outside of the Oracle Cloud console dashboard and on your local machine in a terminal window. So for step two, we want to make sure that you have Docker installed on your local machine. And after you've confirmed that it is installed, we're gonna go ahead and log in to your Oracle Cloud infrastructure registry. Confirm that you do have Docker installed by entering Docker version. Next, let's log into OCIR 
by using the command docker login and using the proper URL for the OCIR instance in the region that you would like to use. Take a look at the link in the description below for information to figure out the three letter code to use for your region. The username that you'll use for OCIR will be your tenancy name slash your username and the password will be the auth token that we generated earlier. Next, we're going to install and configure the FNCLI on your local machine. In order to install it, you can run either of the following commands depending on your operating system. There are also directions to install on Windows and for that information, check the link in the description below. You can confirm that you have FN successfully installed by running FN version. Next, we'll complete the FN project CLI context configuration. Within your console, run the following commands. And at this point, you're ready to start creating applications and functions using Oracle functions. In my next video, I'll show you how to create your first application, create your first function, and deploy and invoke it. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.